the golf cart is complete. We've got the new rims on it. We've got the paint job. It looks great from 10 feet away, which was exactly what we were going for. Hello and welcome back to Gears of Tech. You may have seen our other videos already starting to do the rebuild on our Yamaha golf cart. As you can see, the painting is coming along beautifully. So we've got the orange top coat on already. We've just added the black coat to all of our trim pieces. And now we need to start looking at our seats. These seats are disgusting. They're very crusty, as you can see, and the foam has seen better days. So I've purchased these. Now these are seat skins. They're custom made specifically for this golf cart. These don't just go over top like some of the other seat skins you may have seen. These ones require the removal of the existing skins and then the installation of the new skin. That's what we're gonna do today. The first thing we need to do is prep these by removing these existing skins. And to do that, all we gotta do is pull this off. I think we'll pull these side pipes off just so that we can get access to these staples because we just gotta remove all these staples is really all. Now let's start by taking these off maybe. So I tried pulling these off to see if this bracket comes off. I tried pulling these out. It seems like this bar here is glued in. We're gonna leave all of this intact and just peel the vinyl off. As you can see, we have ripped the old vinyl off. It was extremely crusty. And you can see there's a little bit of like mold and stuff here on the corners which is really gross. And this is wet from having sat out all winter. We can separate the base from the foam. Now I don't have any new foam. I will look to see if I can find some new foam, but just in case I can't, what we're gonna do is just stand this up like this. The reason you want it to stand up is because before we get too far into this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel down below. If you've seen some of our content already and have not subscribed, we want you to join our community. Smash that like button, hit subscribe, and let's get back to the video. The reason you want it to stand up is because all of the water will actually run down and then drip out the bottom so that it dries faster. If you lie it on its back, then you got to try and dry the whole thing. So you can see already, there's water coming out the end here. So, just leave that like that. And this base will give a quick rinse with some spray cleaner, kill all the germs and stuff. And you can see why we were not able to get that bar out, because these or what holds the whole thing in. So having looked at the back of this, I think if I take all these off, then this, these bars will come off, which will help a lot with putting the vinyl around these edges. And this is just gonna go in the garbage pile that we have right here, waiting to go to the dump. So all the bolts are out, and this should just come right off now. Like that. So now we can clean this off. I can clean that up and paint it. And we can let the foam over there dry while we get the rest of these done. And even these edges that we couldn't get out, we can now get out too. Now these, as you can see, we were able to separate it. We got Parker just getting the last of it out. So these just had to undo all the bolts and then it just came right off, including the screws. We were able to separate the foam, which we're gonna let dry in the sun, and this, which we're gonna clean off. And then this, I'm going to do a quick spray paint with. Because this is a high touch point, you want to do thin coats. You don't want a big thick one because you want it to have high wearability. 
and then we let it sit in the sun to dry now that we've got that all mostly ready to go it's time to pull the back off of these these are easy enough they've got just 10 millimeter bolts holding them on easily loosened with a socket there we go now this should just lift right off like that and it does apparently that also just lifts right off and then same deal as before we just got to get all of these staples off this is going to be a little bit easier because it's smaller but we'll get that all pulled off and cleaned up here we got this cover off now because this had a hole in it here it got this all wet so even though the top is kind of dry the bottom is soaking wet so i'm going to try and squeeze out as much water as i can just by standing on it and then we're going to do the same thing that we did with that one over there which is just stand it up let the water drip down and dry and then this guy's going to go over here just like that so that it drips down and runs out as well and Parker's working on the next one so we can get that pulled out and cleaned up too. So as you can see, we finally got the seats all finished up on the golf cart. These seats are actual replacements. So some of them just get pulled over top of your existing upholstery, but I didn't really want that. I wanted ones where you had to strip it off and then staple the new ones on. They did staple on quite nicely. You just wanna make sure that you use like a pneumatic stapler so that you can really get them into the plastic there and then take some time to stretch it stretch it so it's tight so you don't get any of the wrinkles so you want to make sure it's a tight fit we did reuse the foam that was on here so i didn't have to spend any extra money for any of that it was strictly the cost of the new vinyl and that was it and as you can see the results are staggering the golf cart is complete we've got the new rims on it we've got the paint job it looks great from 10 feet away which was exactly what we were going for we're already at the lake cottage now and we've got tons of thumbs up lots of nods of approval everybody's loving the lamborghini orange it worked out really really great Hey, thanks for watching all the way to the end of this video. We hope you enjoy the content in this video. and We'd love to have you come back. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And for those subscribers who are looking for that extra special thing that you can do to support this channel, consider joining our members group. That's where we're building this community, the Gears and Tech community, where we can all enjoy content together you'll get special perks, which we'd love for you to check out by clicking the link down below. For those of you who are just happy to watch the video, that's okay too. You can check out some of our other content right over here, where we've got some previous videos that have already been uploaded and enjoyed by many of our viewers already. We do hope to see you again. This has been Gears and Tech. Have a great day.